and welcome to Girl Talk. I'm Debbie Court coming to you from Custom Audio Video in Bluffton. And I am joined by a bevy of beauties. <laughs> and I'm so excited to have you all join us, all Bluffton ladies. We have Shannon Thompson from Hampton Lake. It's great to have you Thank with you. us. Thank you. Glad to be Sales here. Sales on a record pace and just moving right along there in the community. Absolutely. Allison Fargioni. Yes, that's good. I did it all right. <laughs> you did a good job. <laughs> Al Harry Furniture Design, we're going to get to you in just a moment. Okay. Amazing, amazing stuff over there in downtown Bluffton. Mm -hmm. And our friend Carrie Smoot, who is the host of 843 TV, but she has a day job too. And she works <laughs> at Village Spa. She's a stylist there. So. In all my spare time. Yes, with all the kids and wedding plans coming oh, up. And it's, it's been. You're a busy lady. I am very busy, and it's getting busier, which is a great thing, certainly not yes. complaining, but it's it's been a very active year. We just had my baby's kindergarten or first grade graduation yesterday, and I'm like, mm -hmm. where did this whole year go? It has flown mm -hmm. by, so. I know, it was a big deal when Liliana went from the turtle room to alligator room. So. <laughs> Wait till she graduates from pre-K and goes I'm to the big ready. school. It's traumatic. Not ready for that yet. <laughs> it is. It's very traumatic. <laughs> so, Allison, it is great to have Thank you here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We get so excited when we're able to introduce businesses to our viewers. And if you haven't been downtown Bluffton, Calhoun Street is just great. where it's at. you got to love street. it. You've been there for about a year. Tell right. our viewers what you're all about, how you got started, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, well, the furniture store is considered like a gallery. They're all hand-painted pieces. Um, or some are original designs that I've created and had built by local carpenters and craftsmen. And then I have some raw furniture that I just find, and I add all this decorative trim to it, which is addicting. It's so much fun doing that part. Um, and then I find vintage pieces and refinish them, or I'll refinish your um, pieces. Like people, clients will bring them in, and they're really good furniture. It's just they're tired of the look, and I'll give it a new, a totally fresh look. You know, they can pick out their colors if they want to add things to it. So, and everything is hand painted. Um, you can pick out your finish, work according to your des you know design in your home. So it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> How did you get started in, in the um, business? Like 20 something years ago, I started doing faux finish. So I started out that way. She's and very talented. Along the Good way, painter. I started doing furniture, but I grew up with my dad making furniture for my mom, my family, and my mom was always good with colors. So I definitely picked up that desire for playing with colors for my mom. And then somewhere, I just really wanted to have my own store and just do, you know, create the stuff. And How long have you been in the area? Um, I've been on Hilton Head for almost 15 years. Okay. And I've been, From up north, right? Yeah, definitely. I, I haven't <laughs> blended very well. <laughs> I can't get rid of that accent. I'm hanging on for dear life. But um, I've been on Calhoun Street for about a year now. So You have some beautiful pieces. I was trying to get geographically where you were located, yeah. and as soon as you said that, I was at one of the festivals, and you do. Yes. I love in all my free time. I love to mess around with that stuff, but you do. It's yeah. beautiful. The details are amazing. And I remember seeing the, the sign go up, because I run down in that area, and the black awning, it was mm -hmm. real sharp. It's, it's a, if you're looking at the cottage, it's a few doors to the right. It's two doors so it's to the right. So before you get yeah. to the cottage. But you'll see it on the right-hand yeah. side. Just a really stunning building. And I was like, furniture, mm. Finally got a chance to go in, and it's just not your everyday furniture. No, no, These so are hard. really just artistic statements. And what's cool, again, the details. It's a very, you have an, a very eclectic taste, too, because a lot of times yeah, I think I like everything. people get that's stuck in one thing. So if yeah. that's not your thing, you walk in, you're like, yeah, that's not for me. Yeah. But you really have a great variety. Well, I definitely love, like, the rustic European look. I love Swedish designs. You know, f I love French design. But then you can really play around with it. And then there's contemporary modern pieces, but then you could just add that little twist to it where it doesn't have to just be contemporary. You know, this, you can get the lines of a contemporary piece, but play around with the finish. So it's really a little bit of everything. That's what I tell everybody. And it doesn't have to be just rustic. It doesn't have to be, um, you don't have to add all the embellishments to it. You can have it very simple. Like my one daughter says, Mom, okay, let's keep it simple. <laughs> So, you know, I try and listen to what a client wants. Um, I had one client that said, less is more. And, you know, I had, you, know you try and have the client's um, desire in your head as you're working and think about what would they like, you know. 
So do they come to you with color preference and all that? Or yeah, do you I mean, to me, the best thing to do is for someone to bring in um, a picture of their home, the fabrics that are, you know, and I put everything in front of me and just kind of go from there. Do you have a website? or? Yes, we have the website. It's really beautiful. It's had, gorgeous. Yeah, I had Mark's staff do all the photographs. We took all the furniture to a location outside and it's all in the woods. So much, it was so much fun. <laughs> the How are people pictures. finding you? Are they people that are just walking up Calhoun and just yeah, wander in or through the website? Yeah, most of them have been like doing stuff like this. And so I took the year just to get used to retail because yeah. I have never done retail before. So that was a big adjustment for me, you know, and I had a wedding in the midst of all that oh, and goodness. stuff. So, um, and just people off the street, that's word great. of mouth, and I bet the farmers market. That's probably oh, that's a busy wonderful. day for you. That's Thursdays, yeah. yeah. And the festivals. I mean, there was like herds of people coming it's in. An amazing amount of traffic <laughs> and very. And then small another group. <laughs> coming in, you know? awesome. But it's fun. You get to meet so many people, and the clients that I've had are just the best. So. Well, we are excited Thank to have you, you here Thanks to introduce our me. viewers to the store, and uh, we'll be having you on on a monthly basis yeah, for the next couple fun. months. So we're excited to kind of talk through in more detail some of right. the things that you do down yeah, there at Al great. Harry Furniture You'll have Design. to bring like a piece in one day. Show yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah. It. Well, hopefully we'll have lots of pictures that we've shown throughout yeah. the segment because it is great stuff. Thank you. So thank you very thank much. Thank you again. We'll be right back here on Girl Talk. Girl Talk is brought to you by The Greenery, Stoneworks, Custom Audio Video, Island Tire and Automotive Services, and Covert Air support these local businesses as they make this program possible.